Happy Halloween, you ugly motherfuckers. Halloween, in my opinion, the most pointless festival uh, slash celebration of any time of year. And I'll tell you why. It's an opportunity for you to buy an outfit you're going to wear once. You know, not very, uh, what's the word? environmentally friendly, eh? You're never going to wear, as you'll see, a Joe Biden costume more than Halloween. Actually, maybe you would. I would wear a Joe Biden costume every day just because I'm such a huge fan of falling downstairs. What else is it? It's just a opportunity for girls to wear nothing and then call it an outfit. Oh, what are you dressed as? I'm dressed as... As a playboy bunny. Oh yeah, that's terrifying. Scary. Really, really going to keep me up at night. You know, it's changed in from let's scare people to let's get enough photos to have an Instagram orgy is basically what it is. An opportunity for the guys to get pissed and the women to flex their cleavage, which is fine by me. I'm just the Grinch of Christ uh, of Halloween. So what I thought we'd do, let's, let's enjoy these incredible moments together. Turn it down. Jesus is somehow floating. I mean, it looks like he's got a segue and put, you know, stolen a cloud. I mean, that has got to be the outfit of the year. We're going to be rating these. That's an 8.5. I mean, these that is incredible. The the ingenuity, the creativity. I mean, you couldn't do that with any other religion. You might be killed, but because it's Jesus, no one cares. Well, well done, sir. Well done. I like that. Now, sticking on because we're about to head into World War Three. Said no one. Look, we got Kamala Harris. We're turning the page. Donald Trump wants us to go back to a place we used to be. We're not going back. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's amazing. That is an amazing impression. She says the same shit every day. If you close your eyes and listen to that, you'd think it's Kamala Harris. Let me be very clear about that. Let me be very clear. She says that in every sentence as well. That's incredible. That's a, you know, I'll, I'll give that a... S I'm going to give that an 8. The costume itself is like a 6, but the impression takes it up, man. That That is a great impression. Now, this is a great, great... I mean, Randy Marsh, testicle episode, when he gets testicular cancer or whatever. I mean, that's a great episode for starters. But what a costume that is, eh? That is just fantastic. I. 10 out of 10 points to Gryffindor. That that deserves winning. I'm giving that a 10. I am a South Park fan. I love South Park, but that gets a 10. We've had Kamala, and now we've got Sleepy Joe. Falling asleep in the middle of the road, shaking the hands of ghosts or something. He's falling. He's like, oh, I am Joe Biden. You're a piece of garbage. Um, I don't care about politics. I think they're all evil and corrupt and don't give a fuck about you. But I think Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are the pinnacle of evil. <clears throat> you notice all the celebrities coming to ban them and support them. They're all P Diddy's buddies. Interesting that, isn't it? But I didn't say that. You did. Even the dogs can't escape Halloween. I mean, there's poor guys dressed as a fucking ambulance. Who are you fitting in there, bro? You're not even fitting in a baby chihuahua. Terrible, terrible. Zero out of ten. Animal cruelty. And the poor dog is crying because he wants to get out of the cardboard box. I hope the I mean, look, we got some guy dressed as a beer, it looks like, in the back. I mean, that's creative. Creepy.org. Now, this is a good little page. Go follow him on Twitter. We have Carrie. I don't know who Carrie is, but I love it. Vincent van Gogh and Star Starry Night. Oh, Starlight. No, no, that's not wrong. That's wrong. The never-ending story Halloween. Oh, that's horrifying. Why has he got a dead horse's head? I don't know what that is. I have to admit. Cruella de Vil Halloween. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, get get in the picture, kids. All right, now give him a kick. Perfect. Nailed it. Well done, everyone. Guys, a working camera. That's sick. I mean, oh, my God, and it works. I know it says working camera. I thought maybe it was just a flash, but you can actually see the picture. That is creative and incredible. But, again, how much effort, how much creativity, how much intelligence did that take? And yet, it's for one day, and you probably break it. Where are you going to store it? Oh, he's rich. He's got a mansion. All right, fair enough then. Gollum. Now, that is incredible. That is a good Gollum costume. I mean, he's got tits, but that's fine. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> oh, Headless Horseman. That's scary. Headless Horseman. Wow, that is a good headless horseman. I'll give you that. Shrek, or eat Shrek. No, that's quality. Even got the ears pointed down, a nice big belly, nice little bra or something, whatever you want to call it. Sports trophies. I wonder which one's for taking part. <laughs> that's a good one. That is a good one. Ooh, Ronald McDonald. 
I remember as a kid, Ronald, Ronald really freaked me out. I remember once screaming in a play area and go, what the fuck is that? Obviously, kid mode, so I didn't say the F-bomb probably, but scared me. Ying and Yang, I mean, that... I think in their head that probably sounded like a great idea. Oh, you know, they're on the, the whiteboard. What should we do this year? Couples. Oh, cute. We're couples. Fuck off, being happy. Yin and yang. You know, I think we're onto something there. I mean, yeah, four out of, no, two out of ten. That's terrible. T1000 from Terminator. Very cool. Very clever. I like that. The poor kid doesn't seem to be enjoying himself, though. That's fine. Oh, Chucky. I mean, dressing your kid up as Chucky, it's like, Mommy, why am I wearing a ginger wig? It's like, you'll know one day. <laughs> that is cool. Black and white in a colour world. Oh, so they're like trying to be from like the 60s. That's cool. King Henry the Eighth. I had six horrid wives. Son may say I ruined their lives. Divorce, beheaded, died. Divorce, beheaded, survive. That's how you remember it. Michael Myers getting his groove on. This is like Fortnite, Michael Myers. Right enough. Anyway, as you can see, we're running out of Halloween costume. Oh, fungus from the last of us. That's cool, isn't it? See, that's that. That is scary. That's what all Halloween costumes should be like. Or you should be banned and just not take part. We got Big Steve. We got Mario. We've got oh, Skelebona. Well, shit. I know what I'm dressing as next year. You got uh, what's he called? That guy. Uh, oh, um, Kylo Ren. <laughs> Oh, Nazis. That's um, a bit of an odd one. And I can't say I'd, I'd dress my kid like that, but I don't have a kid, so there you go. An Amazon delivery box. Very clever. Sonic, Batman, the toilet. Ooh. I bet he was getting sat on all day. Sorry. But anyway, ooh. Marijuana leaf. What an incredible costume. Look at that. That's what I, I'm going to get my kid that. Anyway, we're going to end it on that. What do you think? Halloween, big waste of time. Don't enjoy it. It's a terrible time to be alive. Um, but what I would like to say is, I don't understand this. You know, you give kids sweets. What about if there's a bad dude out there, right? And he just poisoned 50 million sweets, hanging them all out, walking past people's homes, putting them in people's boxes. You know what I mean? I always used to think that as a kid, I'd be like, eating these sweets. Like, what about if they, you know, put rice in it or some shit? I'm just dying, bro. But I still ate them, man. I still ate that shit like you would not believe. So much I'd have to brush my teeth five times the next day. But yeah, Halloween, a funny time. But I'm glad it's only once a year. Fuck people who dress up. Fuck Halloween. Yeah.